Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So this video coming back tomorrow. I'm so hungry, but we're about to make some delicious pizza. pizza. I prepped all the ingredients, and I am roasting some red peppers right now just to get it like a little extra in. I don't know how those. They still might be a little crispy. Um, So for our toppings, we have tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, garlic, jalapenos, pizza sauce, roasted red peppers, oregano, salt, crushed red pepper, Peter James dishes. Is this gonna be a disaster? It might be. I'm nervous. This is Sarah's. Good luck. Hopefully we don't have a really dirty stove after this. So let's recap our morning, Peter, Brian, Brookhart. Avers, you're just standing for so long. So we, well, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll know that we fell asleep on the couch last night and we, well, Peter signed off this morning. Um, but then I edited the vlog, Peter did some work, you went on a run, a long run, um, nine, nine miles. miles, and got a, then, I got a big run tomorrow. Really? Four hours. Probably, probably. A marathon? Almost a marathon, maybe 20, 22. Wow. Yeah, so we are just gonna relax now while the pizzas cook. And it's so nice out. Like, it's like 70 degrees out. Actually, the so, window's open until just now. Yeah. So, we are going to... We decided instead of, like, working and then going out later, we're going to go out and then work at night tonight. Um, so, that's the plan after our pizza. I'm so hungry. I know. We, like, slept in, kind of. Not too much. Until about 8. Um... But, I don't know, it felt good. It feels like a productive morning. I want it to continue to be productive. He's like, can we just sit on the couch and watch Christmas movie? We're going to be movie? productive later, after we yeah. go out and come back home. Sure. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> I heard you did a replay yesterday of you breaking a Christmas ornament. <laughs> that would have been another replay. That's got to be another one. No! Oh, the bottoms are crispy. Yeah. This was non, like not a high crust or anything. I think they'll still be tasty. Yeah. We might need to do what we hate and eat fork and knife. Yeah. But they look delicious. They do. Mine looks juicy. They look even, I thought that that looked like it was going to be really dark on the bottom. Not too shabby. Oh, and since it's not, it's thicker, so hopefully we'll get like a crunch in the bottom and a nice. <laughs> how, long, how long did we cook them for? Like Maybe 15 minutes. Yeah. We also, we cooked them at 425, so pretty darn hot. And we ditched the Christmas movie right now. Mm hmm. And we're starting that new The Morning Show with Steve Carell. Yeah, since I got that new iPhone um, a little bit ago, it actually came with a year of Apple TV Plus. We will go through this together. She's a class act all the way. <clears throat> Have you ever seen a more tired animal? <laughs> Why are you so exhausted here? And is that comfortable? <laughs> you have the whole couch. <laughs> nope. But for a long time, she still preferred this. We still like, every once in a while she'll curl up on this. But for the a really long time she only went on this. She didn't even want that. Oh gosh, you are a character. So Peter is at 7-Eleven getting some like body armor recovery drinks and something for me. Um, we are gonna go to Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh, one popped up. When I first searched it, um, Nothing was coming up. Like literally only it's tough to be a bug. So Everest just popped up for 4.15, so that's awesome. But I'm a bit worried. It's gonna be a busy day. The farthest spot. No, no. Let's be <laughs> credit or credit to we're the fourth farthest spot. Yeah. Farthest we've ever parked. Our I nice fast passes. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? Whew. That struck me funny in my body. I just couldn't handle it. <laughs> Even the tram is so far in the distance. It feels so good. It feels so camera. good. It's like it's cool bridge. It like literally, if I was handed a million dollars, this is how I would be. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is always one of my favorite trees. Dare I say, I think it's top two trees. Look at Chippendale spinning. Ooh, the music, do you hear the music? I'm like, happy. Ooh, doggy. Ooh, a dog. Okay, we're gonna be good to go. Have a wild day, y'all. All right, I had a nine mile run today. Tomorrow I have a four hour run. There's no limit on like minimum on distance, but I'm probably gonna run over 20 miles. But I need to borrow your phone so I can post on the internet about our American Catch Society fundraiser because we're $318. That's it, away from our goal. That's our, crazy. We have, two, um, we have two full months. Well, right. not two and full well, months. And well, we already hit our goal that like we need for American Cancer Society. But this is our, our personal. But this is our personal goal. $318. And that way we will have fundraised $10,000 from Dopey to Dopey. Which is insane. So thank you guys if you have donated. Thank you for sharing. The link is always down below if you'd like to share it. One, we haven't been here in forever. Two, there's really cool Christmassy things happening here. Like more than ever this year. Do you see these birds? They're puppet birds. I wanna birds. see that polar bear we saw here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these de <laughs> decorations. Oh, I see the polar bear. Oh my gosh, there's, this is a live violin. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, so we found someone here. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the decorations just keep on going. And it's what a little backward, the but. Heck? Two days of purchasing merchandise and fun and fabulous. I didn't, when Sarah said maybe I'll get the like the headband version, I hadn't seen them yet. And then right when we walked to Animal Kingdom, I was like, wait, are those the ones you're talking about? She so I was like, you have to get those. And you have to get them before Chicago so you can bring them. Yeah. Chicago's only in two we weeks, did. so. I know, we it's crazy. It's so soon. Where are our friends? My friends are, we're, we're, we're downtown Chicago walking. All right, here we go. Something we haven't done in so long. We were not aware of this, but Deb let us know that there are Christmas decorations in Pandora. So that is where we are headed next. And I guess they have a new treat, something that's pumpkin or something more festive. Okay, so throughout Pandora, there isn't much, but over here at Pongo Pongo, Christmas lights and just a little Santa. This chicken right here. Whenever I'm with somebody who will eat it, how much it will take for me to convince Deb to eat that. Deb, you gotta get some chicken. I mean, I... You gotta eat it for me. Oh, yeah, you can't <laughs> eat it. How much longer is that gonna be? Uh, who knows? I feel good, though. It's good. That's but it's the, the hardest part of the challenge. We got Thanksgiving, Christmas, and a cruise. I know. How are you gonna do it? 
How are you we'll gonna see. do it? I'm stubborn. It's gonna be hard, man. I'm stubborn. I know. But Sarah makes really good she vegan makes, dishes. Uh, I've, I've been watching your videos. I'm like, this kind of looks better than we'll, regular. We'll combine food. it. She'll make a really good vegan meal. Uh -huh. You'll come over and hang out on the couch. I mean, All in one. You know my number. Dad is trying to kill us right here. He's trying to have us break our veganism with a pumpkin mousse. I mean, I'll but eat that it looks for like, you. Eat it for me. That looks like a work of art. Yeah, like a little does. swoop yeah. and a little boba and a little bit of dirt right there. Yeah, like oil dirt. Well, sorry, Peter, but you know, I'll eat this for just, you. Just pop the whole thing in your mouth. Like, just once. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably do it. I know. All right, we're leaving. Right as the cool winter holiday projection show starts, but I'm promising right now with Sarah that because we're leaving right now, as this goes on, we have to come back then. It's right now in the end of the holidays. For sure. Well, you know, we'll definitely be back to look at everything else at night and during the day. Um, so we'll be back. I want to like really enjoy it, and I know we want to leave so we can get the rest of our night underway. So yes. We'll be stuck here all night if we don't leave now. No. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're at the Aldi. Right by we're at the Aldi. Yes, we're right by our old apartments, which is right by Animal Kingdom. Because we were in the area at Animal Kingdom, we thought, why not go to one of our favorite Aldis? Especially since the Aldi nearest to us is busted right now. Under new management. No, it's under, under renovation. Report. Look at all the candy canes I'm bringing to work. Bring them to work, but bubble bring them to work. Oh my I'm going to see if I can find a quick snack for the ride home because we're hungry now. We're home, we're home, we're ha 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 home. We also got these cookies, they're super super delicious. They're vegan, they got no animal products. They're made in Germany, they're going in Santa's body. <laughs> also, shout out to all of our friends that we saw at Animal Team tonight, right? Yeah, we had a ton of fun. It was like Deb's friends turned our friends. Plus friends that we already have. Yes. Such a fun day. So unexpected. I'm looking for some pineapple because I'm going to make some stir fry. Sweet and sour style. Ooh, and I'm going to do a bunch of dishes, but I won't show you that because there's too many. I'm so embarrassed. Look at this mood setting right here. Lights. Lights. Why does this get louder? Did you do that? You did that? That was scary. That was ghost status. A lot of you have been asking if I could share the recipes of the food I make. And a lot of the times I'm like, cook. Surprise, Sarah's coming out with her own YouTube channel. <laughs> no, that would be cool. But um, I cook towards the end of my work day, like in between finishing things up. And so a lot of times it's like kind of hard to like set up shots and things. Um, so I'm just gonna quick show you. It's like a super quick stir fry that I'm making. So I just started with olive oil, garlic, um, a whole zucchini, and then a whole red pepper and salt, and then some ginger, like just like a couple of shakes, and then a little swirl of soy sauce. So I'm just getting this like nice and cooked. Once the peppers are cooked to like my desired tenderness, is that a thing? Um, I'm gonna add in this. Fresh pineapple would be ideal, but this is easy and then it has the juice. Then I'm just gonna add this spaghetti straight in there and have it cooked within the juice and that'll help thicken it up with um, the starches of the pasta. I'll probably add more soy sauce and ginger, probably garlic as I go, there's no heat. Well, I actually, oh, I didn't say, I also put red pepper flakes. Um, it's not super spicy, so maybe I'll add some sriracha, um, but maybe we'll just do that like in our own individual bowls so that not, the whole thing isn't super spicy. Yeah, it's a lot of veggies, filling pasta, and then we'll probably have a salad um, with almonds and this ginger, like lime dressing that we love so much. Um, it is 9 o'clock at night, so it's kind of a late dinner, but today's time was all crazy. Here's the finished product. I did, oh, I did have to add some water to help the noodles cook. I might have put too many noodles in. I also added some basil. Yeah, um, more soy sauce, so that's what we're going to eat. 
Then here is the ginger dressing that I talked about. Just gonna go on some greens. One sleepy kid. Two sleepy kids. <laughs> You're not ready for bed? Mm -mm. I'll go do the whatchamacallit, okay? Okay, the 9th of November. Many people will walk in and out of your life, but only true friends will leave footprints in your heart. Eleanor Roosevelt. I almost sneezed. She thought she could get rid of me. She thought I was down and out. <laughs> Guess what? Peter survived. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.